All right, um, so in this uh, video, what I want to do, hopefully you can see my setup here. I've got a, at the moment I've got this one bulb here. I'm just gonna lay them down so we get to see them a bit better. And then um, I've got another couple of spare ones here and we want to look at why we put bulbs in uh, parallel, why, why we put everything really in our households. Our household wiring is set up so that all of our power points and all of our light sockets and everything in the house is all in parallel with each other. So your house wiring is like a giant set of parallel circuits. And why do we do that? And uh, so the starting point for that, I'm going to try and demonstrate that with these three light bulbs. And then we'll do maybe do a couple of calculations and you can see how that works. So the starting point, here's our light bulb. This is what it's supposed to be. I've got the power supply set on 12 volts. So it's putting out a nominal voltage. It's not far off that. And you can see it's nice and bright. I'm going to put a different background underneath it. Let's try. I'll put them in a little folder underneath it so that it's got a bit more background. Maybe that'll show up a bit better. Okay, there we go. A nice background underneath. And we can see, uh, uh, so as my other videos, uh, this one here, of course, is set as an ammeter. We can see it's drawing 0.3 amps over here we've got um, 20 volts, sorry, it's on the 20 volt setting. So this is my voltmeter, this is my ammeter, and we can look at those to see what's actually going on. So there's my circuit with one bulb, bright as, all good. And uh, as we might see in another video, performing pretty close to the uh, manufacturer's expectations. All right, let's switch that off so I can add some more to the circuit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add a uh, another bulb into this circuit in series. Oops, that one doesn't work. Okay. In series. So here's my second bulb. And uh, let's clip that onto that. Oh, that's a bit loose. Let's just tighten that up a bit. There we go. But like we still get a decent connection. And here I'm going to clip onto this one and onto this one. All right, so now we have two bulbs in series, and now we're gonna fire the power supply back up, and we see that we're still delivering about the same voltage. Look how not very bright these now are, and what's happened to our current? We've gone from uh, 0.3 amps, and we're down to 0.19 amps. Now let's just have a think about that. So if we're now down at, uh, 0.19 amps. So we were, we had 11.28 volts, and uh, so P equals, I'm oh, sorry, it's a like P equals IV or VI. So the power before was 11.3 volts times 0.3 amps, which was. was about 3.39 watts. Now, by putting these second bulb in, now the current has dropped. So now, before, uh, now, which is two in series, P equals IV. So this is the power of the circuit as a whole. Each bulb was actually gonna be dissipating only half of this. P equals 11.4 times 0 0.19. Manipulating a little bit there, 11.4 times 0.19, which is, let's put this onto the page, 2.16 watts. So by adding this extra bulb in series, both of these are now really not very bright at all, and my total power consumption in this series has dropped to 2.16 watts. So each bulb is now performing quite differently to what it was. Each bulb now is only is only consuming half of this, so about 1.08 watts apiece. 0 0.8 watts each. Dropped away a lot. Now let's have a look at what happens if I put a third one in. Another one here. 
the alligator clips on it. So I made a little coil out of that one there to try and make my life a little easier. Get it a little less messy. Try and do the same thing this time. <laughs> the alligator clip is swinging around. Okay, so hopefully we'll be able to see everything. We can see all three bulbs. We can see both meters. Fire it up. Okay, so we can see, look how dim these bulbs are now. Look how dim. Look at our current, it's dropped again. So with three bulbs in series, P equals 11.35 times 0 0.16. So 11.35 volts, or it's just, it's moving around a bit, but it's not dramatic. Uh, volts times 0.16 amps, which is 11.36 times 0.16. 1.8176 watts. So the total power has dropped again. And this is only 0 0.6 0 0.6 watts each. So only 0 0.6 watts a piece. When there was one, it was getting, it was, it was uh, putting out 3.4 watts of energy. Now, with three of these in series, only 0.6. So performing completely differently. Now just a little dim, uh, just, a, just not even, not, not useful at all in terms of generating light. So if we want our light bulbs in our house to perform, Clearly, the series arrangement is not the appropriate way to do that. So let's have a look at what is the appropriate way to do that. Let's uh, disconnect these and reconnect this one. Okay, so this is what we started with. Let's just check it off again. Sure thing, fires up more or less exactly like it was. Now. We want to put our second bulb in. What's the best way to put our second bulb in? Well, what if instead of in series, we hook this bulb up in parallel? Turn it on. Both bulbs bright as. What's happened this time? This time, the current's gone up. So this time, with two bulbs in parallel, I'm just going to record those, 11 volts and 0 0.56 amps. And the reason I'm going to do that is I want to turn it off because these things aren't supposed to take huge current for very long. Okay, so this is two bulbs in parallel. What did we observe? We observed that full brightness for both bulbs. Now what I have also observed is that um, the voltage has dropped because this power supply is not up to maintaining a, a, a really solid um, controlled voltage. So that's not very helpful. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get a different um, power supply out. I've got this little power supply here. It's only rated up to 2 amps. Uh, but I'm hoping that it's going to produce a more consistent voltage. So let's try that. It's only a 12 volt supply, so it's not it's not any it's not adjustable in terms of its voltage, but it uh, might well do the trick for maintaining a steadier 12 volt output for this experiment. Have a look, see. Look at that. Okay, what do we got? Oh yeah, 11.9. Okay, let's uh, let's disconnect these suckers out of here for a moment. All right. Oh, it's, this is still also going to perform a bit odd. 12.1 volts, 0.3 amps. We put the extra bulb in parallel. We've got 11.9 volts. 0.6 amps. So 12 volts, 0 0.3 amps, 11 point, well there was 12.1, 11.9 volts, 0 0.59 amps. So what we can see is both bulbs performing the same as they were 
when there was only the one. And we can see that the current over here, compared to with just one bulb, the current has doubled. This is one bulb, two bulbs, and this kind of, but the key is here parallel rather than series. And what about three bulbs? Get another one. Need a couple more cables. I'm just going to gang it this time instead of instead of more and more alligator clips. Just gang it on. Okay, let's have a look, see that. Sure enough, still up around 12 volts. This power supply's probably better than the other one. 0 0.9 amps. So, sorry, you can't really see that for me. There we go. 11.6 something, 0.9 amps. So, with three bulbs, 11.6 volts, 0 0.9 amps. So what we can see is that added, we added the more bulbs, they all perform to their expectations and what's actually happening as in the circuit as a whole is that the current through each bulb is the current that you, that bulb would have had if it was in the circuit on its own and that means that the current with three bulbs in it is three times the current with one bulb in it and that makes sort of complete sense because if this is seeing 12 volts this is 12 voltage, 12 volt difference between this side and that side. That means a certain amount of current is going to flow through that bulb. This bulb also has a 12 volt difference between this side and that side, which means a certain amount of current is going to flow through that bulb. This bulb also has a 12 volt difference between that side and this side, so a certain current is going to flow through that bulb too. And therefore, you've got this current plus this current plus this current all adding up. Now that 12 volts that each of them is seeing is the same as if they're on the circuit on their own. So this is this is how what you add to the circuit changes what the power supply provides and this is in some ways the essence of the electricity kind of topic is that what you see happen in a circuit in terms of voltage and current doesn't depend so much on what you what your source is as it depends partly on what your source is in terms of its voltage but it depends at least as much on what you put in the circuit so if you put low resistances in the circuit, the power supply is forced to try and provide very high currents that might in fact then impact the voltage. But assuming it's capable of, a, of putting out more and more current with, without um, the voltage dropping, it will. It'll put out instantaneously all the current it has available. And in your house situation, your house is being supplied by uh, power stations that are capable of supplying hundreds of thousands of houses at a time. So when your house decides, when in your house you turn a whole lot of circuits on, when you wire things up, perhaps wrongly, uh, to include huge amounts or very, very low resistances, or make a short circuit by just connecting two wires together, the power supply to your house is quite capable of delivering enormous currents, hundreds or thousands, maybe tens of thousands of amps instantaneously. Now, if we allowed that to happen, then every time you had an accident or short circuit in your house, you would likely create a melt all your wiring and create a fire. And so this is why we need safety features in the wiring systems of our houses to prevent the accidental supply of too much current. Because as you can see in these light bulbs, the more current we supply, the hotter they become. Now, nichrome wire is designed to be like that deliberately, but even copper wire heats up if you put too much current through it. So we put everything in parallel because that way the appliances that we have, for example these light bulbs, will perform to their expectations. Ideally we connect them to uh, circuits that have the same voltage available on that circuit as the rated voltage of the appliance. These are 12 volt bulbs, they perform well because they're being applied in a 12 volt circuit. 
uh, any appliance really needs to be applied in the circuit that it is rated for, for that reason. Every appliance that's connected in parallel sees the same voltage as every other appliance. On the other hand, when we connected them in series, we saw something completely different. There, we saw the voltage getting divided between the different lamps, and therefore each one completely underperforming compared to what it was supposed to do. And in fact, we saw the total power output and the current in the circuit reduce rather than increase. So the equivalent here is to say, if, imagine if you wired a series of heaters in series in your house, what would happen is that you'd see that the overall heating power of those heaters would drop instead of rising, putting more heaters in series would actually make your house or your heating capacity less. Uh, putting the same heaters in parallel increases your heating capacity each time you uh, attach an, another heater to another power point. Okay, thank you for listening.